Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Puppets again joined by Jakob the Lord of Malts. And today we're cracking open and uh, cracking cracking open a special beer because Jakob uh, got into his uh, um, uh, uh, physics yeah studio yeah thing um, yeah yeah well it's a physics physics program he's physics. he's gonna study physics at the university here in the city so congrats bro so we're gonna crack open a pretty special beer as you see I have a must kind of weird mustache thing going on it's because I'm growing a weird mustache or I was growing my mustache or my beard out and then shaped it weird for Vakin because I'm going to Vakin tomorrow so we're just shooting this before I go but you won't see it until after uh, but yeah the beer for this review is the 5050 Brewing Company's uh, Eclipse and they do a lot of different versions of the Eclipse and this is last year's uh, Brewmasters Grand Cru blend and it's basically uh, the the uh, some of the different Eclipse beers uh, barrel aged variants that are blended together which were the Brewmasters favorite uh, which is pretty cool and this is I've only had 50-50 uh, Buffalo Trace I think it was something like that uh, some Elijah Craig uh, a lot of different bourbon ones I've had from them, and then I've had their Bart barrel aged, really tasty. But Jacob has never had any of their beer; he's never even heard of them. So um, that's going to be interesting. They're from uh, Truckee, California, CA. Yeah, that must be California. So yeah, this should be interesting. So let's get this. Uh, but yeah, it's an imperial stout on nine point five percent alcohol. So yeah, let's get it cracked open. So we got the <coughs> sorry fifty fifty Eclipse. Brewmaster's Grand Cru blend poured. It's a pitch white color. Yeah. Basically, can't see any light coming through. It kind of looks brown underneath here, but I think that's the light from the table. Yeah. Nice little kind of tan. Yeah, yeah. roasted looking head. Let's check out the aroma. Oh. Yeah, that smells <laughs> awesome. Wow. Oh yeah. Definitely like bourbon that shines through. Yeah. I think mostly they do bourbon barrels actually, but it's like this really nice complex wood. wood yeah, wood oaky, bourbony, uh, like whiskey soaked raisins, yeah. vanilla. Some tar kind of notes as well. A lot of oaky tannins, and the oak tannins leads to that really nice fruit character also, like yeah. the darker fruit but and almost marmalade kind of. And chocolate and yeah. milk chocolate kind yeah. of. Yeah, darker chocolate too. Coffee notes, roasted malt, almost a hint of smoke. Wow, this smells awesome! Oh, <laughs> I mean, yeah. this is, I've just tasted a few, a few of the eclipses so far, and so far this is the best aroma in all of them. That's a really nice barrel aged aroma on a barrel aged imperial stout. Um, yeah. A little bit of a, as you say, charcoal y kind of burnt tar charcoal. Yeah. But really nice wood character. Maybe a slight amount of like a toasted oak. Like yeah. a toasted, when the cask is toasted. Oh, yeah, and some kind of. Um, darker kind of toffee note. Yeah. You know, that dark toffee. It doesn't really have the coconut aroma that it sometimes get from barrels, no. I'd say, but it's mostly just, a, I get a lot of vanilla, but yeah, let's take this beer out. It smells amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, wow, that is Ooh. fucking delicious. Oh my God. This is great. <laughs> yeah. Holy crap. Mwah. Oh well, where to start? Mouthfeel full, creamy. Yeah, really nice mouthfeel. <laughs> that is so nice. And it's sweet too. Mmm. Mmm. Nice. Up front you get first the roasted malt. Yep. Fades into more of the sweet vanilla flavor. Sweeter chocolate. Oak notes. But because it's a blend of all those different barrels, I wouldn't say... Um, I don't know if it's only bourbon barrels, to be honest. I think there are some different ones, but... It, it's not like a <laughs> shit ton of bourbon you get or a shit ton of some kind of whiskey or whatever. It's like this really, mostly oaky vanilla kind of flavor on there, yeah. charred oak. But you do definitely pick up like some bourbon-y whiskey notes. What do you pick up? Yeah, well, after the initial roasting this, you kind of get that creamy, chocolatey, toffee kind of taste as well. Yeah. Which kind of... Again, mellows out, eh, not, not again, but kind of mellows out the uh, uh, roastedness, but, but then you have this kind of, in the back of your throat, you have a, um, I have at least, a kind of uh, lingering, almost bitterness. Yeah, I think like a roasted bitterness, like a roasted dark roast coffee. Yeah. Something is what the flavor that lingers, along with that oaky tannin. 
mm. flavor. But also, again, that kind of raisins or dark fruits soaked in bourbon and almost like the British marmalade characters you okay. get, like, like uh, a blackcurrant marmalade or something <laughs> like that almost. It's got a lot of dark fruit flavor, but again, a lot, uh, very well combined with the, the flavors of like the chocolate yeah. and coffee and all. And you don't taste any hint of the alcohol at all. Okay, yeah, so rating wise for the 50-50 Eclipse, um, this is a great blended barrel East Imperial style, kind of like what they do with Parabola. For me, it doesn't hit Parabola territory. That's still one of my all-time favorites, Barrel East Imperial Stouts, if not the best I've had. Uh, yeah, but this is definitely really, really high up there. I mean, I gave, in retrospect, I gave the regular Dark Lord way too high a grade. I mean, this is 10 times better than Dark Lord and probably easier to get. Well, I'm not sure because this is a Brewmaster Scram crew, but we traded some uh, Blobber and um, uh, Fambos to get this along with some other beers, among others, the uh, Great Divide Yeti that we lost. But, <laughs> pretty much, I'm going to give this a 97. This is a phenomenal Imperial Stout. Get it. <laughs> I agree with you. This is an extremely tasty beer, and I had no expectation at all to this beer, so I kind of like was just off. But as soon as we took the first sip, I just knew this is a 98 beer. It's a, it's a, and you, I know you shouldn't have your grades in already so early, but I just, it's phenomenal beer, balanced, drinkable, well-rounded, you know, with the alcohol and taste and roastedness, it's just phenomenal, and the whiskey and the, the bourbon. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. So yeah, guys, that does it for this beer review. Oh, the 50-50 Eclipse Brewmaster Grand Cru Blend. Uh, definitely check this one out if you were able to get it when it was released and definitely trade for it. So yeah guys, uh, remember to come subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another video. Thank you for the trade by the way. Yeah.